Hi, this is Pauline from 360 Suite. The topic of this video is to demonstrate how to do impact analysis on regressions found in business objects. Regressions can often occur after a service pack update, maybe you do a database upgrade, a change to ETL. 360 Bind automates the process for regression testing. It's often impossible to, re to regression test all of your reports, so you test a representative sample. Once you've identified a regression in a report, you will want to determine whether other reports have the same issue and locate those reports. The impact analysis reports in 360Eyes will help you identify all occurrences of the regression. First we go to 360 um, and run a regression test in 360 bind. In this example I ran a test and found um, that there were three reports that had regressions. Looking at this last report here, I'm going to switch to the report view. Um, this one has graphs. I'm going to scroll down. Here you see the average session count column in these reports are both different. So the values are different for some reason. On the left hand side there are decimal places, on the right hand side there aren't, and that is changing the values and changing the results of the reports. So I want to find out what the issue is. This particular issue I've reviewed and determined that it's an issue with the average function that's used in these variables, and I need to modify it to get the correct results. So I know this particular report is using the average function in the variable, but I need to find what other reports are using average function. I can accomplish that using the impact analysis reports in 360Eyes. So here I am in 360Eyes. There are a number of out-of-the-box reports that are available, and one of them is the impact analysis on variables. So that's the report I'm going to use to determine which reports contain um, those variables. So I select my snapshot and that's just um, a look at my environment at a point in time. And I'm going to find every occurrence of average within the variables. So this is searching the formulas of all my variables in all my documents and filter on that. Now here I get a list. So I've got the document path, document name, these are mainly Webby reports, uh, the variable name, and here you even see the vari variable value. So you see they're all using average. And I can see that there are a lot of public documents that contain the average function, but I also see that there are um, there are some reports in user folders. As you saw with impact analysis with regression testing, this allows you to use 360 bind and 360 eyes. You don't have to test all of your reports. This can be impossible if you have an environment with 50,000 Webby reports. You're not going to be able to test them all, but being able to do the impact analysis allows you to test a set of reports and then find other reports that have the same issue. Let us know if you're interested in a trial. Thank you.